So this is going to be a video about my lipstick collection. I don't really have a lot of actual lipsticks. I prefer like the jumbo crayon kind of things or a lip gloss or just a lip balm. But since I tend to like these kind of videos, I thought I would go ahead and put one up showing you all of my lipsticks and kind of telling you about them. So yeah. If you want to see that, please keep so on watching. really, there is no particular order to this. It's just going to be like drugstore to high-end brands. And I'm just going to go through and show you all of my so, lipsticks. So, this first lipstick is called Cherry Pop. And this is from a brand called Black Heart Beauty. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it's actually really cool. Kind of like a tulip kind of look to it. Um... These are actually available at Hot Topic or online, and they're only like $5, and they are super good quality lipsticks. I'm actually looking to get more of these. I just have not been to the mall in like months. This next one is from CoverGirl. This is what the packaging looks like. It is number 340 or Entwined. I actually bought this for a Halloween tutorial thinking it was a much darker shade than it was, thinking it would come off more this kind of burgundy shade. But it's more of a mauve purple. This is what it looks like in the bullet. Um, I do like this formula of lipstick. I'm just not super fond of this color. So I'm not necessarily sure if the Maybelline Color Whispers qualify as lipsticks, but in my head, it's a lipstick. It's just a super sheer lipstick. This is in number five, or Go Nude. This is what it looks like in the bullet, a very orangey peach color. This is what it looks like on... This is definitely a day-to-day -day color for me if I'm going to reach for a lipstick because it is very sheer, it is very light, it's just a hint of color. So this one is from Revlon and it is a color burst lipstick in the shade Pink Sugar. This is definitely my most loved and most used lipstick. It is just a very sheer nude that actually has some gold glitter in it and I am almost out of it. Um, so I hope they haven't discontinued this when I need to repurchase it. I, this is another day-to-day -day color for me because it just adds a hint of color, a hint of shine, and is super neutral and just goes with everything. This is another Revlon lip product. This is actually a Color Burst Lip Butter. The shade is number 60 or Gumdrop. I actually like this color so much They were when they were on clearance at Target, I purchased two of them on purpose. Um, I really love the formula of these. This is actually kind of like a sheerer version of the MAC Nicki Minaj lipstick, so I really like these. These are lip butters, so they're super moisturizing also. This one is another Revlon Color Burst lip butter, and this is in the shade Red Velvet or number 40. This shade is also from Revlon, and this is a super lustrous lipstick in the color Black Cherry. This was actually purchased for a Halloween tutorial as well, but I ended up really liking this color. So, I do wear this quite frequently. So, this is a lipstick from Jessie's Girl called And Cleopatra. This is what the packaging looks like on this. I actually think the three that look like this were limited edition for Valentine's Day, but this is just a very pinky coral shade, which I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of on me, but I do like this lipstick. This one is also from that same Jessie's Girl um, limited collection, and this one is called And Ginger. And it's a pink that has more of a coral tone. I really do like this color. This is what it looks like in the bullet. So, yeah. So, this is called Anne Juliet, and it's from that same Jessie's Girl collection. This is more of a red-toned orange. I say that because it's more orange than it is red. And this is a quite different color for me, but I am really fond of this color as well. Moving right up the price range, <laughs> this one is from Sephora, and I'm not sure what color this is. I want to say... I don't know. This is what it says on the packaging. I believe this color has actually been discontinued, which makes me really sad because I love this color. It is definitely like a dusty rose kind of mauve shade. And it is one of my favorite lipsticks, and it's, it sets matte, which I really like. This lipstick is from a brand called Studio Gear, and I believe you can purchase this brand at Ulta now. Um, this is Mocha Berry, and it is a semi-matte finish. It's more of a brown-toned or brick red, and uh, I'm not necessarily...
necessarily the biggest fan of this one. I like this one, but it's just not, it's not my favorite. This is Max Pret A Pretty Lipstick. It's just a kind of orange toned nude. I usually pair this with something else to go with it because I'm not the biggest fan of a just straight nude this lip. This is Snob by MAC. This is my favorite MAC lipstick that there is, and this is a satin finish. This is MAC's Nikki 2. I lied. This is my favorite MAC lipstick of all time. Um, this is an amplified finish, and it is a lavender. I love wearing this in the spring, and I mix it with Snob a lot, or I put this on very lightly and put the gloss over top. This is MAC's New York Apple, and I know I keep saying that these are my favorite lipsticks, but MAC lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks. This is a frost finish, which is not something I would normally go for. I think I've said that before, but I really love this color. This is MAC's Fixed on Drama lipstick, which is a retro matte finish. So it's a little bit more drying than a regular matte lipstick would be, but this is my favorite brick red color of all time. This is MAC Cyber Lipstick. Seriously, if I could get away with wearing this lipstick all day, every day, I would. It is a satin, and it is purple, but with my lip color showing through, it looks a little more red. I normally pair this with Night Moth, again, because it's that dark, rich burgundy, and this looks beautiful over top of that. Now moving on to Urban Decay. This is the only one I have, and this is a Revolution lipstick in the shade Anarchy. I just have a little tiny sample size, too, but I love this color in the summer mainly. Like, you can't really wear this color in winter because it's just so in your face bright. Like, this lighting does not do this color justice. This is one that I would definitely recommend going to look at if you are in the market for a super pink lipstick. This one is a Kat Von D foiled love lipstick in the shade FTW. It is definitely in the burgundy family. It has hints of pink and red in it as well, which I really like. And I just saw that Kat Von D's lipsticks are getting a repackage and a relaunch in the fall, and I am super excited for that. Um, but because my lips are getting kind of sore and chapped from doing this, i am got a few Kat Von D lipsticks here as well, and I'm just going to do them like side by side, or one on the top and one on the bottom just to kind of save my lips a little bit. So this looks super goofy, but it shows you the colors. Um, because these are the small ones that came in a set, I can't really read the names on the bottom of them, but this is the shade that I have on the bottom. It's kind of a brick red again, and then on the top I've got kind of an orange toned red that is this color. So now I have on my top lip the shade Lolita, which is just a very brown toned nude shade and I actually really like. So that's that one. And then on the bottom I have the shade Forever Never, which is just straight up gold. Like, I don't think I would ever wear this lipstick actually anywhere unless it was like for a Halloween party or something so like that. Then this is my last Kat Von D shade and this is in the shade Valentine. Um, and this is probably another shade that I would not really ever wear. It's a hot pink magenta kind of color that has a lot of glitter in it. Um, it's a very pretty color but it's really just not my cup of tea. So seriously jumping from mid-range price point to high-end range price point. This is the Lancome Rouge and Love lipstick in number 181. I know this is picking up kind of orangey on camera, but this is a true red lipstick from Lancome. This is the most beautiful red lipstick I have ever used. I am in love with this color. I don't use it very often because it is so expensive and I don't want to run through it, so I just don't use it very often. Yeah, because it's expensive. So this is the lipstick that I call the favorite of my collection of lipsticks. This is the YSL Voluptuous Candy in number one. It is a nude brown with very finely milled gold glitter through it. And it is just beautiful. It adds just the right amount of golden shine to the lips. 
This is my favorite lipstick to wear in summer. I mean, heck, I wear this year round and I think it is just such a beautiful color. Sometimes I just have days where I want to wear a very, very pink lipstick, but I don't want to wear a very, very pink lipstick. Does anybody else ever have those days? Cause I just, I love hot pink lipstick, but I don't always think it's appropriate to wear hot pink lipstick everywhere. However, this is another Volup Sheer Candy lipstick. They These really do smell like candy, by the way. And this is number four. And it is a straight up hot pink lipstick, but it's very sheer. This is what it looks like on. This is just a beautiful color. And if you are not wanting to have like bam in your face hot pink lipsticks, like with the Urban Decay lipstick I showed earlier, this is perfect. And this is just such a beautiful color too. So that does it for my lipstick collection. It seems like it's a lot more than I thought it was. Um, like I said, I don't necessarily tend to buy the lipstick, but look for the lip gloss in the same color. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.